we came out of camp, and I was living in Long Beach, uh, and I saw one of the girls that I used to play in camp with, and uh, her name was Akiko Shigetomi. And I remember seeing her, we met, and we were very embarrassed to talk, and we never mentioned camp. We never mentioned camp, and but it was so subconscious when I think of it now that um, it was like it was a bad dream or that there was some shame involved with it, so you just don't refer to it, refer to that. And it wasn't, I mean, and then, of course, uh, I realized that it was totally suppressed during my teenage years, and it wasn't really until for ultimate, until we wrote the book, that all of this came out and all that, you know, uh, traumatic, emotional, what, what had happened, you know, emotionally was so traumatic. And I know it wasn't just for myself. And that's why when it was like seeing, I try to give it a metaphor, like seeing somebody that you've experienced something with like maybe you were raped or something, but then you see each other and you know you both went through that, but you never mention it. And it's like, hey, you un unsaid, we're not going to talk about that. We're not going to even recognize that that happened to us. Later on, as I got older, it would be, you know, we could mention it and say, oh, yeah, I remember in camp. But I remember just coming out because it was we were too young and it was the wounds were too raw. You we didn't know what happened to us. We didn't know that we all we knew was that we were going to be hated when we got out of that camp. 